Hey guys, it's Mr. Pop Talks indoors. Yes, we're still indoors. And I've got to tell you, uh, I've known this particular gentleman for, for a few years now, a friend of mine, and he's amazing. And it's a gentleman that he's going to introduce himself. Uh, it's from a brand called Puff Under Mali. And uh, none other than Ivan Jacqueline is here talking with Pulse of Perfumery here in Austin. Ivan, how are you? Hi, great, great. Thank you, Pete. Thank you for the invitation. It's a really a pleasure and honor to spend this time with you. I love pop perfumery. <laughs> I have great memory with you. Oh, my uh, goodness. Good, tremendous uh, event together, great time. Yes, and, uh, yes. I have you, to you, were, that. you were very, very gracious in uh, spending your time traveling to, to Nutsford. I mean, my goodness me, Ivan Jacqueline. <laughs> the general manager and brand ambassador for Puff of the Money coming here to Nutsford. Oh my God, thank you. Yeah, so, Ivan, listen, we, look, I know you very well. Uh, we know you and we love you, but I'd like for you to share um, who you are with our viewers that are following Puff of the Money big time here at Pop. So, please just share who you are. For sure. So I'm Ivan Jacqueline. I'm, I'm working uh, with Perfume de Marly since some 10 years now, a bit more than 10 years, uh, acting as a managing director. So since two years, I have a new uh, mission, so, which is to conquer the US market and uh, South America and Canada. So we settled our team in place here two years ago. So I'm now based in New York. and handling the team and uh, and developing the brand here in on in these territories so so you're you're in uh, so i'm now speaking with you you're in new york uh, uh, i'm in nutsford yeah. ladies and gentlemen this is so special i love it so tell me okay, listen the, the lockdown and everything i mean how's it going in the states at the minute for you i mean your family and everything is, is all good we are safe you know it's been already three months we are home so all the team uh, is working from home currently, and uh, we have to be uh, patient. You know, it's long. It's it's a weird time. Uh, we are especially me. You can imagine I'm missing enter entertaining with people, uh, the events, and flying all over the world. And now I'm stuck home since three months. But you know that's what it is. One matter, as you said, is everyone is safe and. Uh, and your passion, you know, and, and this, this is important because uh, you know we know that you you very graciously, um, despite all the pressures that you had, uh, you you travelled to Nutsford. So yeah. and we had some twice, twice, twice. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Ivan Jacqueline has been here from Platform de Mali twice. The third time he's coming, you do not. In want French, to we say never twice without a third time. So <laughs> you have. To Ivan, it's a definite. You have to be here in Nutsford when we can all travel and everything else. Now, listen, we've got uh, a lot of a lot of lovely customers that are real, real brand enthusiasts that love your product. There's some questions I will put to you from our customers sure. very sure. shortly. But, uh, I mean, there is a question, actually, that was uh, – I'm going to ask now rather than save it till later – that he, they said to me, um, Puff Under Mali, okay, it's 1743 is the, the date of the, the, you know, the middle 18th century. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and the, the actual question was from this client was, you know, was Parfum de Mali uh, the brand representing then? I, I don't think it was, but... Oh, actually, we are, we are paying tribute to this amazing era. Wow. Because uh, you know Julien Sprecher, the founder yes. and owner of uh, Perfumes de Mali. Uh, of course, he's an expert and uh, he's blessed for perfume creation because he, he grew among perfumes. His father was already in the perfume industry. So he grew up surrounded by perfume and it's really a, a, a passion, a true passion for him. And he's as well uh, passionate about history. And so... He wanted to create a brand that paid tribute to the great era of the modern perfumery. So what happened back in time is under Louis XV, this king, the king of France, he absolutely revolutionized the world of perfumery. 
Yeah. You know, before that, under Louis XIV, perfume were there. Perfume were there since thousands of years, um, but not as uh, we use it today. If you want, before the 18th century, hygiene was so horrible, so harmful that uh, perfume were used more to to hide bad odors, to disguise, than, to disguise and hide bad smells. Exactly. <laughs> then, rather to and not as an object of seduction, of power, of you know, uh, this came only from the 18th century. So Louis XV was absolutely uh, uh, crazy with the perfume and the impact perfume can, can have. Uh, he's the one who created grass. You know, he had a oh. master perfumer based in Marly Castle, in Chateau de Marly. Chateau de Marly. Voilà. So, you know, the Chateau de Marly is based a few miles away from Versailles. Yes. And the, the Louis XV was not a great politician. He wanted to enjoy life and was escaping from Versailles was too heavy in terms of etiquette for him and enjoy having great time with the, the very best uh, courtesans that he wanted to pick and have great time with them. And he was there uh, uh, organizing celebration, horse riding, racing, uh, enjoying life basically and so, the court, please, the court yes. was so into perfume that it has been named the perfumed court la cour parfumée so each the and perfume. every room was having different scent they were adding perfume in the fountains they were you, you had perfume everywhere and then you know it's really the start of the modern perfumery because as today, when a celebrity wear perfume and people say, oh, I want the same perfume as a celebrity, that went the same with a king, with a queen. And from that time, all the European courts started to order their perfume in Paris to follow the trend. So it was, it was really a magnificent era, uh, wow. the, the reborn of the perfume world in a modern way, as we know it today. So the, we really wanted to praise this amazing time through our creation. Uh, that is why, you know, Perfumes de Mali will use so many natural ingredients. Because back in time, of course, what we call, uh, 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 how do you say, sorry, uh, synthetic ingredients was not there. You yes. only need natural. That is why every uh, noble ingredients we will use natural. We'll never switch from one synthetic if the although exists at a natural stage. I've got to say, I've got to say, uh, Ivan, that because uh, what you're going into is something that many of our customers, uh, and, and seriously, there, there are so many customers here that have forwarded uh, questions to you, knowing, knowing that you are um, speaking with us, at this little shop pops, Pulse Perfumery in Nutsud, which is not so little because it's got lovely, wonderful people like you, sparing your time for us but they uh, there's a there are many things that um, people like uh, and love about your brand now uh, there's a one or two questions that, that uh, are going to unfold I mean you know we talk about the history uh, 1743 I mean obviously King Louis the 15th wasn't it yeah and the, 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 the as you mentioned the palaces uh, the, the, the fountains have said that the desire for scent mm -hmm. um, the brand now, uh, and there is a question as to f where we begin for in the 21st century to what was the 18th century. Um, you know, who's, who's behind the brand? I mean, it's just so many things are wonderful. So who's behind the brand? So it's Julien Sprecher. So he's a founder. He's a f fantastic. Okay. You know, I just talk about him a bit. He's incredibly uh, talented into uh, when it comes to create perfume he really knows i was talking with olivier crest last week and he told me that he never thought uh, working with olivier crest is the master perfumer, yeah, the master perfumer. and uh, he did that julian should be a great perfumer he's extremely talented and really knows 
what he wants, can drive the perfumer in a perfect way. And uh, uh, that's, that's a blessing. He's making my job very easy, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, no, uh, Ivan, there is only one of you. And uh, Julian is, of course, uh, incredible. But uh, another question, uh, just to ask, because um, the brand name, Parfum de Mali, we understand now from your explanation, but, but they're all named after what apparently or is. Yeah. Well, you were mentioning 1743. Horses, horses. Which is, which is actually, wow. hey, the king revealed the Parfum de Mali uh, statue. You know, the two horses looking at each other. And this statue has been revealed in 1743 in Mali Castle. So it was at the entry of the palace. And wow. lately, lately, uh, it has been transferred to the Champs Elysees. So now you can admire the Mali statue, statue sorry, uh, at the entry of the Champs Elysees. And this is the Mali horses because the king. I was saying at two passions, which was the, the perfume world and the equestrian world. And even though he was not a great politician, that the two uh, passions he had, he absolutely revolutionized them. So he was the first who breed Arabian horses with European horses. And you know, the Arab Arabian horses are. Uh, beautiful, tiny, very energetic, when the European horse are more muscly and tall, and he breed them together. And still today, 90% of the horses racing today bear the same DNA than uh, the breed that Louis XV I, I love, I love it, I love it, Ivan. The DNA of, of stallions and purebred horses and all those things are in the brand of Parfum de Mali. And you know what? We, we, we pay tribute to, to both King Passions, you know? Uh, yeah, yeah. I, and and, and I, listen, having met you now for a few years, I know that your passion very much for Parfum de Mali, your belief in the history and the, the love that you put into this brand uh, as a brand ambassador is quite extraordinary. And, I, and I lo I'm so privileged. We are at Pop to have you here talking to us. Now, this, I've got a couple of other questions. Um, yeah. So thank you for the, uh, the, the whole detail. I'm going to pick up a, a list here, and it is from uh, our clients, although there's actually been a few in between the initial comments. Now then, Ivan, this is the one, because we've got a lovely client who loves the brand. Well, I mean, they all do, but this is... Um, Ivan, mm -hmm. <laughs> what is your favorite, oh my God, fragrance from Parfum de Mali? Uh, this question is coming <laughs> often for me. It's always, uh, it's always difficult to answer that because uh, I will answer, by the way, but there, there is no only one. But you know, there is one thing I'm really proud of uh, is a consistency through the collection. And the way that Julian is always paying a lot of attention to when he creates a new scent, that is something that adds up to the collection. So, you know, you, are, you do have some brand that more or less have the same uh, olfactive signature through their collection, and they will always use the same spine and play around. When Julian is paying a great attention to please and always new people and discover new olfactive territory. So there is actually a fantastic consistency among the collection. And I adore several of them that I'm wearing. So, that, and that's why today we have so many customers having five, six, seven, eight at home, but not few, a lot, because they all bring something different. And you know, today, we, we, we don't wear one perfume anymore. No, absolutely. Um, it was, okay, this is my signature scent, that's my no. perfume, a bit in No. No, I like people, and that's always a message I, communic uh, I try to communicate to, to the people I'm interacting with, is 
Perfume, first of all, is a re really game changer in life. It's something extremely important. You know, the uh, how to say the scent is the only sense linked to our subconscious. All the other senses are linked to the conscious. So it's actually the first message we'll project to people surrounding. So it's extremely important to, to choose a perfume matching your personality, your mood, your agenda, uh, the way you feel, uh, and then select few of them accordingly to what you, who you want to be. Because yeah. perfume is as well as a luxury to be someone slightly different. It doesn't mean we are cheating because we are all complex. We don't have one side of a personality and that's it. We are all complex. We, are, we, we have many sides composing our personality. And perfume will help you to reveal and highlight your person. So in that extent, I'm wearing a lot of them depending on my feeling, my agenda. Like today, I knew I, uh, I was meeting you, Peter. So for me, Peter is energy. So I decided <laughs> to wear a set lip because yeah, set it's like energy beyond the loop. I love <laughs> yeah. so set lip really to me really gives me a kick of energy. It's yeah, positive. it's positive. Yeah. You want uh, the whole the whole world. Oh, it gives me energy. So I love it. Set lip. So set lip for the your people who doesn't know it yet. So it's yes. our new release. Yes. It's uh, uh, Julian worked with Olivier Crest and Amit Merati Kashani on this one. It's it's bright, you have bergamot, I, temple, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna stop you there. No, Ivan, Ivan, Ivan. <laughs> so, voilà. so today is this one. Pegasus is another one I'm wearing very often because Pegasus, I have the feeling you have Pegasus. when yeah. I wear it. So I wear it very often. I love it. Right. When well, I'm going well, out. You on, know, so, on that note, on, Ivan, because we're looking yeah. at time. Uh, on that note, I mean, uh, we, we are here at POP totally, totally excited about a new fragrance which is coming out from Parfum de Mali. Mm -hmm. It's a fragrance that I understand that you've launched in the United States. Yeah. We don't get it uh, in terms of the global distribution, probably mid-June, end of June. I don't know. I don't want to say to our customers when. But we have a new fragrance entering the stable. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Get that, guys. The stable. Uh, of course, called Sedley. Sedley. Tell us uh, about Sedley. The one I was showing you. So exactly. <laughs> you got in there before me. Yeah. So and, tell uh, me. So this is bright, beautiful, fresh, with a but it's, 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 it has unique vibes, which I like, which I love. It's not just a fresh among all the citrusy creations. So first of all, you have on top of the bergamot, the citruses, you have some mint, mint from Oregon, natural mint from Oregon, which gives something uh, really different as a, an opening. And then it's going down with some incense, natural incense, sandalwood, and so it has as well a lot of depth into it, and I, I can't stop wearing it, uh, to be honest with you. It was a great success. We actually launched it in exclusivity with our partner here in the U.S., Nordstrom. In, and, in, in, the, in the U.S., so you've launched it in the U.S. It's not available yeah. anywhere in the world, apart yeah. from the United States. Um, yeah. Melanie, Danielle, and I in Pulse of Perfumery of Nutsford in Cheshire in the U.K. have had the very very good fortune of smelling that particular fragrance which i've got to say is an absolute dynamite of a fragrance uh you're in the uk we get it at some point uh, hopefully this year within june maybe but how is it doing in the united states because you've been shut down as soon as we launch it it become number one in our wow. form wow. was a uh, because you know that that's really this kind of, of fragrance that will please a lot of people, and, lo and people get uh, a lot of compliment. It's it's versatile, yet it has depth and signature scent. So it's it's really a fantastic creation, 
and uh, yeah, I'm very, very proud of it. And uh, I'm sure for it's a perfect summer fragrance. To be honest, well, with we, we we love uh, uh, Ivan. I'm gonna uh, because I've got a couple of questions before we run out of time. Um, one of them would have been about the difference of, of Sedley in terms of the difference, but I've got to tell you, our customers will uh, make their choices about the difference. But I do have a question, and I'm sure. going to refer to my uh, my list. My, my mm -hmm. list. Um, I've got. I'm, she's obviously a fan of yours. What's your favorite fragrance? Which we've asked because you mentioned that. So she, I read that question. Could I please ask Ivan? Right. This is this is important. Could I please ask Ivan? If, if he gets involved in the creative process of a new fragrance? Oh, uh, you know, we are a small team. So, of course, Julien is leading the creation, interacting with the perfumers. So, um, and we are a tiny team, so we are very close to each other. So, of course, at some point of time, Julien will share uh, where I stand and ask eventually or feeling out of it and uh, sometimes i like to to uh, to challenge him if i don't feel it's marlena so uh because i have the freedom it's like a family it's like a it's like a like you know mom dad the kids the... <laughs> yeah yeah but uh, bon, julien is really leading the creation uh, i give some input when he is uh, nice enough to share and ask what do you feel i love that and so on and he knows uh I will say what I feel. He knows I won't say I, I like it to please him. Or, wow. And uh, uh, that's, that's important. And, uh, and, and, that, and, that, and that, Ivan, is very much the case of when, when people, like, people come into Pulse of Perfumery. You know, they say they're looking for a scent, they will try it, and we'll say it doesn't work on your skin. Or it, it's exactly. You know. always, always to, to say what you feel. You're honest. You're you're honest. honest. Uh, so yeah. at that extent, uh, some, we are interacting sometimes, but you know, Julien knows very well what he's doing and so on. So I, it's a very small percentage, but where he likes to, to share with a, with a team and of course to have our feedback. Fantastic. Listen, another question. I have uh, another lady. Uh, uh, I have worn Delina for a long while. All right. Uh, and, and it's wonderful, and I'm addicted to it. It's like, you know, so she, she, she cannot live without it. However, however, Ivan, she asked the question. She has not at the moment been able to try the uh, Adelina exclusive okay. fragrance. So all she's asking us or you is could you please ask Ivan? Um, how could you explain the difference between sure, sure. Delina and Delina Exclusive? Absolutely. It's, uh, there are two sisters. Um, so it's, we use a, more or less the same spine. The difference is Delina Exclusive, first of all, is a perfume. So it's a real perfume concentration. Oh, yeah, we know, right? yeah. You have almost 30% of natural oil uh, as a concentration. So now you still have the lychees, the natural rose, it's more or less the same spine, but it will be more on the warm side of Delina. Delina original is sparkling, it's freshy. You have, the, you have um, uh, a bit of green touch, so it's, it's a beautiful, bright day fragrance when uh, Delina exclusive will be more Vanilla, so the natural vanilla from Madagascar base would be more bold, more round, and more seducive. It's more into the, the evening part of it or winter. Uh, like to wear Delina exclusive during winter Delina, and Delina during summer, I believe it's, it's a great pick. Okay. And uh, it's just warmer, and uh, I, I adore it. Personally, I adore Delina exclusive even more than the original. Uh, it's, well, hopefully, hopefully Diane is very, very happy with her question. And thank you so much. But it does actually, Ivan, it does lead me on to. Um, I mean, I love uh, without question, Nathan. Uh, it's been phenomenal as a fragrance, and of course, we get the latent exclusive. So uh, now I know 
the, the construction of the fragrance, uh, the difference, the point of difference. It's a little bit more expensive, but there's some, there's some materials, some oils in there, which are pretty special. So if you were had to say to somebody like me, uh, Peter, this is Leighton, which you love, I would like to introduce you to Leighton Exclusive. What would you say? Yeah, because, you know, Leighton, again, when you create a fragrance, you have so many different leads. So Leighton uh, is a fantastic success because at first it's versatile, fresh. You know, you have the bergamot, you have it's very pleasing. And then you have a duality in it. Then it's going down with precious woods melting with vanilla, making him, giving a lot of depth and making very warm, tiny sweet. Yes. This, this sweetness is amazing for, so it, it's a beast compliment getting, you know, people get tons of compliments. They love to go to party, to go out, to please people and, and receive compliments. That's late on original. Love it. So this, this sweet part, this warm, not sweet, we cannot say it's really sweet because the vanilla we use is not a, this kind of sweety vanilla, but it's warm, you know, it's warm, it's seducing. The, the Leighton exclusive will be having the same opening, bright, appealing, but then okay. will be more manly, more punchy. Then you have a beautiful wood accord in the base and a touch of wood, making, giving a punch to it and you don't have any more this warm vanilla vibes but more something punchy and manly and uh so it's really two ladies, different ladies, ways ladies of watching of this ladies watch ladies and gentlemen watching this this is now x-rated it's like yeah. <laughs> that, Ivan, that is amazing thank you thank you so much for that and i've got uh, one or two others um Question because I mean, I mean, we're running out a bit of time. Uh, Ivan, or yes, sir. it just it just says uh, pop perfumery. Um, I have noticed since my uh, initial purchase of your brand mm -hmm. that the fragrance lasts on my skin a really, really long time. Is there a reason for that? Uh, of course, that's something Julien pay uh, a lot of attention. Uh, you know, for us, a perfume has to last and has to be shared with people. So there are two factors which are key. We'll never launch uh, a fragrance uh, without having a good projection. So you should be noticed, but in a good way. It's always a very tiny balance. Like Delina is a perfect example that ladies will receive tons of compliments. Amazing. All the day. Amazing. But it won't be overwhelming. It won't bother yourself. It won't bother the people surrounding you. It will please the people and get nothing. So there is a, it's easy to do long lasting fragrance uh, and strong fragrance if you use wood, a lot of wood, you will have this effect. But you have no balance and it will bother more than please. So it's always a, a very long work to, to find the perfect balance between the, the, the code and the ingredients we will use to have this projection, lasting power, but in a very pleasant way for the people. And uh, that, that's, that's why. And then, of course, the, natural, the ingredients themselves play a big role into it. We use natural, a lot of natural, like all of our... Uh, you know, it, it sounds like common, but very few, maybe less than five brands are using the real natural ingredients in, in a huge majority. You know, more and more is synthetic and synthetic. Synthetic is great from a point of view, of course, because it opens up new scents that are not available in the natural, and we do use, like the lychee will be a beautiful synthetic molecule that we use in Delina. But it adds up. You can't get today the scent of a lychee. Maybe one day we'll be able to get it. So we use a very few parts of synthetic when it adds up to the creation. And the synthetic are great for that. But we will never use vanillin instead of Madagascar vanilla. vanilla. That, and and, and the, fact, 
But let me finish, uh, Peter, because that's very important. Oh. In fact, we have a lot of like 70% natural minimum in a poor creation. It interacts much better and much more with the pH of your skin. Okay? And, uh, and the beauty of it is the pH of your skin will become part of the creation. And you will make it tiny different than everyone. And it will become uh, no one will smell like you will smell. And this is thanks to the natural. The more natural is a creation, the more it will interact with the pH of the skin. The more synthetic it is the more it will attend to smell the same on everyone. So well, that is one factor which is important. And you know, to finish for this question, when you spray Marley on your, on your hand, like that, show me. You know, you spray here, you see that the texture is not alcoholic. It's, it's kind of, I don't know if the word is correct, but oily, it's like you see, uh, it, it's, it's, it's like oil, so it will last a long time because we have a high percentage of natural essence. Sorry, sorry, I have to go now. I, I've smelled this and it's really, this is, this is, what are you this, smelling? This, I'm kidding. Oh, you have to, no, I'm not going anywhere, but I need to share this scent with as many people as please I can. Please the, feel, the texture, <laughs> feel the texture on your hand. Feel the texture on your hand. It's yeah, not it's like oil. It's oil. Uh, it's, but you can yeah. see. It's natural essence, and that is why it's, it's like oil. That's why it's lasting so long. Mm. Voila. What are you smelling, Pete? They are, this one is uh, behind me with Leighton. I love Leighton. But, uh, but, but you're right. Now, this is the other thing. Uh, Ivan, because I never thought about thinking it of, of, of oil or scents or, or quality. All I know is that I love wearing Puff Under Mali. Thank you. But uh, now for the first time, you, I just sprayed it and I'm looking at the, the, the film, the film of almost a film of fragrances. Uh, Which I mean, is great because it's even not aggressive for the skin. You know, some people uh, are afraid uh, to spray uh, on the skin. Uh, no, it will, it's like a protection, and it's it's uh, that's why it lasts as well so long. Well, listen, I've got to say to you, Ivan, Ivan, ladies and gentlemen, Ivan Jacqueline from Parfum de Mali. The this guy is just awesome, and uh, yes, he's been in Nutsford. He's going to come back. He's going to come back to Nutsford. And we're going to have another event with Ivan. Event with Ivan. It almost rhymes. No, but uh, Ivan, I'm going to say to you, you have been absolutely fantastic. Thanks. You've Thank answered you. the question, and there were so many more that we couldn't put out at this point. But you have a fantastic brand, a fantastic following in the United Kingdom, and people that really do adore the product and one more uh, and thank thanks you. to you now, yeah, and I mean this Ivan because I've met you for the last three four five years you're an absolute charm a real gent and uh, I'm <laughs> <laughs> but the passion that you have for we are me, driven by passion for sure uh, you are you Ivan are driven by serious passion for what you do we are thankful as Pulse of Perfumery here in Nutsford in the UK, in Cheshire, to thank you, who's in the United States of America, which is in New York, aren't you? You're in New York. And before you go, Peter, I'd, I'd really ask to, uh, would like to say a few things about your magical place. Oh. And uh, I mean, from the heart, uh, there is less than three places so amazing in the world of perfumery, in the world. Uh, what I, I felt when I enter your perfumery was something unique. And wow. you are, you, you speak about passion, you are the most passionate, not only about perfume, but about people. And you are, you know, I really invite everyone to go into Manchester region. It's a trip that people who love perfume has to do. Uh, Peter, you are a master, not only uh, driven by your passion, but to understand people, to understand what they need. They spend 
one hour or more sometime with you and have the best time uh, they could dream of. And this is really due to your amazing personality, your passion. So from my heart, go to see Pop Perfumery. If you are too far, phone Peter. We find a way through Zoom so that to have this fantastic experience. And thank you for what you're doing because, you know, without people like you, we would be nowhere, Peter. So thank you so much for your passion and uh, for everything you do every day for, for the perfume world. Thank you so much. Voilà. Ivan, thank you so much. On behalf of everybody, that's, Jesus Christ, I can't even talk now. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Uh, this is a real interview with somebody who's very special. I can't talk. I don't even know what to say. But uh, thank you for watching. Just, Pop just in. Just keep going. Just keep going. You are doing fantastic, and yeah, people should you. know thank it. You. Okay. Peter, Ivan, not, Ivan, lots of love. I see you in New York sometime, maybe. Uh, yeah, welcome yeah, to my house. Thank you again. Wow. My house, I have beautiful uh, rooms for the guests. <laughs> welcome. You are welcome anytime. <laughs> thank you. See you soon, thank Ivan. You. Take care. Ciao, ciao. All the best, everyone. Thank you. Ciao.